<laughs> What's up, everybody? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're uh, having yourselves a heckin' good Friday. Because. A heckin' good Friday. I hope you brought drinks too. Brought some booze. Cause we're drinking the fucking Kraken, mate. How's it going, everyone? Happy Friday. I got got a bottle of Kraken. Yo, Kraken, open it. We got Kraken on it last weekend. <laughs> Um, very, very nice, very lovely, very smooth. Goes well with coke. Very warm. Huh? Very warm. Yeah, I mean, I did put a finger's worth in. 
Anyway. Um, yeah. So, tonight we're going to be playing... We're not checking out a game, because we. this is a fucking classic. Like, it's... It's a game that's been out since 2000. It's 22 years old. Jesus. It's a 22-year-old game. Re uh. <laughs> release the Kraken. Fucking damn right. How you doing, Seti? How you doing, man? Um, there. This is a 22-year-old game. Came out in 2000. I was in high school. Like, I just started year eight. And I was constantly going over to the game traders across the road from my school after the school to go and play Majora's Mask on the little demo Nintendo 64 units <laughs> that they had. I, I used to get in trouble with my stepdad, mom's ex-husband, um, for not being home on time. So, yeah. But yeah, because of that. <laughs> that and he's a cunt. But anyway. Uh, am I drunk already? No. No, uh, nowhere near it, mate. Nowhere fucking near it. Asking if that put echoes. Hey. Echo on purpose. Uh, is the, the echo on purpose? Um, <laughs> only when it get like really loud. Yeah, it's only it's only when I um talk really loud because it goes into raspberry. Hang on. Uh, it would be a slight echo. You got massive echo, have we? Let's have a listen to the audios. And be more echo. Listen to the audios. And be more echo. Doesn't sound like it. Have it coming through to you. Um. Yeah, do you have two tabs open? Like, is it my voice or is it something else? It's everything. Everything, okay. Asking, not. Oh, is it everything? <laughs> you sure you're not drunk yet? <laughs> I'm not drunk. I'm just trying to fucking understand what's going on because, like, I just listened <laughs> to the fucking stream. I'll do it on my fucking phone. Well, there's going to be more echoes. 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 You on Discord? <laughs> what? <laughs> so you had the stream running on Discord and then you had the browser open. Okay. All right. Cool. We've established that. That, okay. that That's cool. <laughs> it's okay, Seth. It's okay. <laughs> Friday night. We're all excused. Yeah, it's Friday night. Um. Yeah, so. Um, not drunk. Um... But I, I guarantee you I'm probably going to be by the end of the night. Because hmm. I intend to. Definitely. Get I'm getting blue. I definitely intend to drink a fair amount of this tonight. So, got a couple of cans of soft drink in the fridge still. So, good. It's fine. Just funny. It's my <laughs> end. I clicked on the Discord video. Yeah, no, nah, that's all good, man. It's all good. Hey, Helen. How you doing, mate? Hey. Welcome back. Hey. So tonight <laughs> we're playing some Majora's Mask. It, again, as I was saying before, it's a game that's 22 years old. I used to play it at the game traders across the road from my high school uh, after school and be at home um, and get into trouble because I had no valid reason to say why I was not going straight home. Because if I said that I was going to Game Traders to go play Legend of Zelda on their consoles, I probably would have kicked out of me. I, I'm taking drugs. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I'm doing drugs. I'm, no, uh, no, I'm studying. I'm studying. <laughs> Fuck. Studying drugs. I mean... <laughs> You're studying drugs. <laughs> um, but yes. Um, so yeah, it's a 22-year-old game. It's the best Legend of Zelda on the Nintendo 64. 
Uh, I see. You got a uh, caveat there. Well, there's only two games on the Nintendo 64, and that's well, that Ocarina and... of Time and Majora's Mask. Yeah, but your favorite's Wind Waker, and that's not on there. <laughs> I, my, my intent with the thumbnail and the title and everything is to piss people off, because I said that... Um, how that would fucking hurt. I don't, I don't, it's a bit late. Can't but, see. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit late, but Link was sitting on a, um, uh, like a, a picket fence. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> with one of the, the, the pickets. Are we back? Is the bandwidth back now? Yep. Fuck's sake. Like, it just decided to drop everything right now. I don't know. Like, I don't know if it's OBS anymore. Because, like, Eternal Infernal the other night was saying that OBS was at fault. And that they released an update, which I got today. But that's very odd. It's not, like, it's not random. Like, it's uh, not random. Not, not random. Welcome hey. back. Thank you. <laughs> And it looks like as if we're about to drop again. Oh no. YouTube dropped you back to 144 uh, pixels. Yeah, because the bandwidth just completely shit itself. Like it went from 12K through down to nothing. Is that what happened to mine the other day? Yeah. It was like completely bombed out. Mm -hmm. But there's like this working theory that OBS is at fault. Okay. But. <laughs> Thanks, Dream Elements. I hope you're enjoying the content. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're enjoying the content while I'm offline. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Oh All boy, right. geez and golly, I hope you're enjoying your time. So, uh... Have you paid your bill? <laughs> have I paid my bill? Yes, I always pay my bill. Internet comes first, you know that. <laughs> Bills <laughs> come first. Yep. Always. Which is why we're out of savings. <laughs> According to most people, you're supposed to do savings first. No. I oh, know. Make sure your bills are fucking paid. Yeah. Then you can play. What? Bills before play. That's what we've always had. We've always had that rule. Yeah, but it doesn't isn't said like that. Uh, that's how I've understood it. So anyway. Um let's jump into the game. So yeah, twenty two years old. Um, it's the best Legend of Zelda on the Nintendo 64. Oh, I just found some pigs in some onesies. Speaking of savings, are you guys coming over for packs? Probably not this year. They keep changing it, so we so can't... They keep fucking, like, We're gonna wait until everything's, like, settled down a lot more. <laughs> yeah, when, when, like, COVID is no longer a thing... Well, yeah, but we're gonna, like, get some savings. Get some... Maybe even some, uh, business -y. Yeah. I mean, hopefully by then I'll have my license as well, so... Not driving over, though. We're not? No. Okay. That was my rule. Okay. If I go over, we're not driving. Okay. First plane time in a plane. Cross an arm and a leg for hotels in Melbourne. Uh, yeah, kind of. Hey, so Josh. We planned it all out before us, everything hit. Yeah, so when I quit my last job and I was moving into this new job, we'd already planned out our trip to PAX into Melbourne. And then coronavirus hit. And then we basically couldn't go. And then... They did an online version of PAX, and then it was like, oh, yeah, we'll be back for 2021. And then 2021's PAX got cancelled as well, because they had another spike in coronavirus. Didn't even plan for that one. Yeah. <laughs> We've given up after the first one. Like, We're not even planning it until it's like... Because they, they kept delaying it. Like, they kept saying, oh... It's going to be Christmas. It, it, it's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. And then, like, it came, like, a couple of months out. And, like, the cases were, like, increasing massively in Victoria. And it was just like, nah, yeah, it's not happening. And then they decreased in Victoria and they increased here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they were just like, we're fine. We're doing stuff. We're planning things. 
convention center was the main vax hub here. Yeah, I can imagine that being yeah. like chockers full of people. Well, the um, hotel that we were going to, that became a Medi Hotel chain. Hmm? The Pepperidge. Pepperidge Hotel, yeah. Became a Medi Hotel. Yeah. Yeah, that, that was interesting. Um, <laughs> Pepperidge Farm remembers when we ordered the... Pepperidge Farm gives you your jabs. <laughs> oh, that's the quarantine. Oh, fuck. It's all, it's all a blur to me. Um, <laughs> For anyone drinking. So this character that you see on screen here is what's known as Skull Kid. So Skull Kid is um, basically like one of the forest kids. Um, he stole the mask off of um, uh, the Happy Mask Merchant. He didn't know the powers that it had. He just thought it looked pretty and got stuck. Um, the mask is basically turning him into an evil little prick. Um, it was kind of a little bit of a dick before, but he's turned that up to like 10. His name's Skull Kid. Yeah. You can only have so many business opportunities when your name's Skull Kid. And he's like wobbling. <laughs> The thing that I love about Majora's Mask over Ocarina of Time <laughs> is the ability to transform into other races by putting a mask on. Like, it yeah. creates such a different element to the game. But also, um, the whole... You've only got 72 hours before the world ends. But don't you do it multiple times? Hmm? Don't you have to do it multiple times? Yeah, so... <laughs> it, it, it has a timer of 72 hours before the world ends, but you play the ocarina and you go back in time to start from day one. So it's like Dark Souls, like in the sense that like you collect items and you collect souls and shit. And then if you die, you lose it all and you have to start from the beginning. Whereas in this, um, in this, it's you. <laughs> That's getting annoying. Um, Bye, Helen. Love you. Bye, Helen. Hasn't caught up on my chat yet. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> um, in this, Hello. you, um, <laughs> so, is it like in Dark Souls, how you you, you get souls, your items, and and if you die, you start at the beginning. You have to go back and go collect it. In this. If you go back in time, you lose all of your rupees, the items that you've built up, that sort of thing, but you retain the key items. Funny, because that's like literally built into every idle game known to man nowadays. Like those micromanagement games. Yep. Every single one of them has a type of legacy that you do that with. Okay. Next one, time around, you like increase the speed, you gain things. He didn't wake up through all that. Beep. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> Boop. <laughs> Pretty sure that would have been a fucking nightmare. And he dives on po uh, Eponia's uh, left leg. <laughs> Getting dragged along. Ow, that would fucking hurt. Horse drawn and corded. <laughs> There's, um... Bobby Duke. The crafter. Woodworker. Not quite. Cross between that. Um, he's a manly crafter. Uh, but he made a Majora's Mask. Like, carved Ooh, it out of wood. Nice. And then he did, like, little short with his daughter. And it looks so good. <laughs> Bit cool. Like, what's weird in this is that... You are the hero of time. You've come from Hyrule. You've you've left Hyrule on an adventure for no no apparent reason. And carry on. Technically, yes, but the thing is, is that there is some debate. Like it, he goes from Hyrule to Terminus, Termina, which is this world. Um, and he, he Princess Zelda wishes him goodbye and everything, but. This is like, like, 
like a fresh start like you don't start with like the energy bar because like by the end of mm. ocarina of time you would have earned the energy bar to do like power attacks and stuff like that but you start off without it like it would have made a bit of sense to like have the energy bar like in this little section here and then when you get turned into the deku scrub you lose it yeah like the end of game yeah yeah like 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 it's so, something just happened and you're like regaining your memory or something there's shit. a reason for it yeah not just you don't have it that happens in a lot of games like ff10 to ff10 2 you basically starts out at nothing yeah i was speaking of um 13s now on uh games pass okay for pc is that why you're asking if you like it <laughs> no i thought i thought about buying it on steam and then found out uh like yesterday that it's on games pass so yeah games pass does it's fucking heaps good value man i haven't played uh. <laughs> oh cute little majora's mask terrible <laughs> So hands up in the chat who's played this before. Hands are down. Hands down. Loading. Oh, there's this one guy that at the Avcon does the Gulk kid. Oh, oh. The, the the costume? Mm. Yeah. Why the sad face? Why Just thought so I'd have a little fun with you. Sadius. Oh, come now, did you really think that you could beat me as I am now? You fool! <laughs> so so th this part is like like part of the original trailer. And when I so first saw the original trailer, I was so creeped out by the transformation sequence. Because it looks like as if it, it's like mega painful. You'll see that in a minute. I think that's the one they recreated for the... The, um... Deku mask? No. And now we've been turned into a Deku scrub. Joe Stay looking like that forever. And then he like just like floats away. And this, this fucking annoying fairy like tries to bash me. <laughs> and the two fairy brother and sister get cut off from each other. Ding 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 ding. ding. I mean, at least they don't go like, hey, listen, like they did in Ocarina of Time. They just make like little ding sounds. So I'm pretty sure a lot of players got fucked off with Navi with the fucking sounds that she would make. But then again, they could get completely fucked off by the um, Skyward Sword version of Navi, who is completely fucking annoying. Something. Why are you looking at me like that? Is there something stuck on my face? You don't even have a face. You're a fucking ball of light. Face? I ooh. Will you stop staring and just open that door for me? Please, come on. A helpless little girl is asking you, so hurry up. Oh, Teo, I wonder if that child will be right on his own. Alright, so now we're a Deku scrub. Get ourselves some rupees. Open the door. We continue on. I think I might need to get one of those pro controllers that connects via USB because the latency on this is fucking terrible. Can't use a 360 control. Apparently. Going. 
You want to know about the Skull Kid that just ran off, right? Well, I just happen to have an idea of where he might be going. Take me with you and I'll help you out. Deal? Bitch, you fucking just locked me in the door. I like how I agreed. Like, non-verbally. Yeah, breaking the third, breaking the fourth wall by um, just uh, looking at the the fucking door or the the camera. So, yeah, who in chat's played this, or who's played one of the other Legend of Zelda's? Don't know. You'd grab your switch. Hmm? Not charged. Oh. Okay. Oh, it's not charged. Bugged it. Right. The other cool thing about uh, Majora's Mask over Ocarina of Time is these other gameplay elements where you can use like the the pads as a certain races, like the the Deku scrub. You can you can like bury yourself in it. Never have I ever. <laughs> you own a Nintendo Switch. You can like fly around like this. How much trouble with the first? Do do one. Maybe give this one a go. You might enjoy this one. Oh, no no no! Don't you fucking dare! Oh lucky bitch! All right, let's go. Sort of, you, way you look like look look right now is sort of like this tree, all dark and gloomy, almost like it could start crying any second now. How sad! Well, fuck you. And the last thing I had was the Super Nintendo. Ah, yes. We've got a Pretendo. We've got a Super Nintendo in, uh, behind us. Gonna try and work out how to um hook it up. Uh, I think I was gonna get a like a. A SNES cart to HDMI cable at some point to try and uh, be able to play it natively on the screen. All right, up the stairs, and you've met a terrible fate, haven't you? Like this dude just like standing there with like the biggest fucking grin on his face. <laughs> I own the Happy Mask shop. You be. I own the Happy Mask shop, but I'm creepy a creepy mask, mask man. Yeah, creepy mask man doesn't really sell as well. Funny that. Not, not sure if you would put creepy art sales on your fucking bit. Yeah, creepy art, then I would. <laughs> yeah. During my travels, a very important mask was stolen from me by an imp in the woods. So here I am at a loss, and now I've found you. Now don't think me rude, but I have been following you. Creepy. Oh, you're a creep. For I know a way to return you to your former self. If you can get back the precious item that was stolen from you, I will return you to normal. In exchange. All I ask is that you also get my precious mask back that the imp stole from me. For me, you need to change in the mask back. Yes, but we're missing the object of power, the very important thing that was stolen from us. What? It is not a simple task? Why, to someone like you, it should be by no means be a difficult task. Or if it wasn't a fucking seed. <laughs> Except, the one thing is, I'm a very busy fellow. Looks and, so busy. And I must leave this place in three days. How convenient. When the mm -hmm. world is ending, you're going to fuck off like Scott Morrison. You want to Hawaii? Yeah, sure. <laughs> I would be grateful uh, 
if you were to, if you could bring me back my time, uh, bring it back to me before my time here is up. <laughs> but yes, you'll be fine. I see you are young and have a tremendous courage. Ask. Hmm. I'm sure you will find it the right way. Well, I am counting on you. And now, we leave the clock tower. It's leave a clock. Now, this is the mechanic that we were talking about before. So, you have 72 hours. Not actually 72 hours. Like, it's a very sped up version of 72 hours. And I can't remember what the time scale is. But at the end of the 72 hours, the moon crashes into the Earth. Or in, into the planet. And um, the whole mechanic is that... Hey, Raptor, how you doing, dude? Get on, brother. Motherfucker. Um, at the end of the 72 hours, the moon crashes into the Earth, and the whole gameplay mechanic behind it, which is very Souls-like, is that gameplay. you're resetting that time frame. So, like in Souls games, where you die, you go back, you get the Souls again. In this, if you reset time and go back to day one, or, you know, dawn of the first day... Um, you lose all of your rupees, which is your currency, any items you've collected, that sort of thing. But you retain the status of your body. So if you um, get to the point where you can turn yourself back into a human child um, and you've got the mask to turn yourself into a Deku, Deku scrub, um, you basically go back to being a human in the first day with the mask. So you keep those key important items, but all things like currency and um, offensive items and stuff like that, that all gets dropped. So yeah. it's very Souls-like in that in that regard. So the, like, the thing that I... I think I enjoyed that mechanic about it most because um, I'm not going to say Ocarina of Time was linear. In like The story was very linear and the world was open world. But you would go from point a to point b to point c for the story and it was you couldn't progress anything further like you couldn't run around and do side quests and shit like that um but <laughs> with majora's mask i enjoy the 72 hours mechanic because you have to do things very proficiently because if you fuck around and you you know Find waste out. time you're not gonna have fucking time to do anything um, one cool thing though is um, when you the, the, the time pauses when you go into like a dungeon or some or a house I think um, but when you're in <laughs> when you're in the overworld I'm just gonna stay in Nana's house I'm not off. leaving this fucking dog fucking attacking me the little cunt funny you use Dark Souls comparison as people have been calling Elden Ring Dark Souls Breath of the Wild I mean, I'm I'm keen to play Elden Ring. Not committed to that much money. Yeah, not committed to that much money. <laughs> All right. So the first step that we have is restoring the Great Fairy to her original form. So we go to. Oh, fuck off, dude. You weren't sitting in your fucking flower thing. I fucking suck at Soulsborne games. But I've gotten the most progress out of Elden Ring so far. Nice. Also, um, we spoke of before about the, the time scale. I've only got like a pseudo 72 hours to... You know do things in the game um there's no save function let that sink in there's no save function unless you return back to day one so to save you oh, can okay. you you can return to day one and it will save your progress but it resets the progress too uh -huh. right however there is these things now if you hit them when you've got the sword, of course. If you hit it, it basically expands its wings 
and it gives you a once-off save point to return to this moment in time. So, like, if you're on, like, say, halfway through day two, and you come here and you hit hit one of the owl statues, it will save your position at that particular point in time. But that save or that um that checkpoint is gone the moment you load it up. Mm -hmm. So you have to find another statue in order to save or go back in time. Mm -hmm. It's so cool. Like, it's such a fucking awesome mechanic. Like, people fucking might fucking hate it, but I love the challenge of it. It's great. And this is also the first game that we get introduced to um, Tingle. This guy here, the 35 year old man dressing up as a, <laughs> as a fucking cockier. Like filthy, filthy Frank. <laughs> I mean, yeah, he does look like Filthy Frank, yeah. <laughs> um, actually, that might be the inspiration for. What's his face? Genji. Um, Genji. No, um. Not pink guy, the, the green guy. Green guy. <laughs> Green guy, green guy. Yeah, so the, the, there was a pink guy and then there was a green guy. The name Great Guy. My question. Hey. Is he named Green Guy? I don't know. I don't know if he's named Green Guy. Now these chicks are always fucking weird. Like, the, aside from you know the the fucking weird face, like all Hyruleans tend to have. This one here. Whoa. That's some pointy boobs. Yeah, so some pointy fucking Tomb Raider tits. Um, <laughs> she Chief of tits. Basically hits on Link, and he's a fucking kid. Well, they're all basically variations on the same thing. Yeah, no, nah, I know. And that's the other thing as well. Like you get the you get the, the these these items like this power bar that we've just gotten here to do, allow us to do, you know, power attacks and stuff like that. Um, and you retain that when you go back in time, but you lose the progress of saving the great fairy. You like if you go back in time, you have to go back and get that first fairy that we got in that other room come back to the, the great fairy shrine and put it back together. Like, that progress is undone. It, but you don't have to go back here and do that. Only if you want to unlock the, uh, the, like, the healing part of the great fairy in this particular section. Ah, uh, freaky fairies. Also, um, Link looks strange. Hey, Victoria. How you doing, mate? <gasps> Abby. Abby! How you doing, mate? Makes your butt look big. So, Midnight Victoria, have you played Ocarina of Time before? Or is it not, not even, sorry, not Ocarina of Time. Sorry, have you played Majora's Mask before? And I'm good, man. I'm good. I'm good. We've uh, got a bottle of Kraken here. Gonna try and demolish a fair amount of this tonight and try and get drunk. Um, but also play some Legend already. of Zelda. <laughs> there we a long, long time ago. Ah, right. Okay, you remember how he becomes um, a Deku scrub? Um, like he gets turned into the Deku scrub by the the, uh, the Skull Kid, and then he lifts the curse off of himself later on. We we literally just started a new save. Like I ha I had a save that I was playing with like when the Majora's Mask came to the Switch last week, and I was like, okay, who wants to see me play this? And then people in, in the Discord voted for it. So I was like, fuck it, I'll start the new save. I wasn't that far mm. into it. Who's the first? We're the first person that voted for Majora's. Yeah. Nice. Is it because you didn't like any of the other games or you generally wanted to see this one played? The more you play of this, the more I can watch the game grumps. Ah. <laughs> and then I understand it, apparently. <laughs> Are you the one who just popped that up there? Not bad for a Deku scrub. <laughs> we bombers have a hideout that leads to the observatory outside of town. You'll need a code to get in. Maybe I'll tell you what it is. But don't think you're getting in that easily. I can't just tell you what the code is. You'll have to pass my test first. 
Are you ready? All right, line up, guys. <laughs> you can find all five of us by tomorrow morning. I'll teach you the code. Uh. Are you ready? <laughs> and like there's like the slow kid. Yeah. Like oh, I'll, I'll do that too. <laughs> then um. Uh. Even universe, there is exactly those guys. But they're like, they're called rubies. <laughs> and there's five of them, and then there's like the nice one, the angry one, the slow one. Don't you fucking dare, you little cunt. Come back out here. You're in the tree. Fuck you, prick. I fucking hate it when they do that. Like, there was. Because um, like, you can't leave the town until you're a fucking kid. Like, until you're, um, human. like, human. Because if you try to go out, the guards try to stop you. Then the little cunts will fucking walk in behind the guard. So when you're a Deku scrub, and you can't get to them, so you have to reset the fucking zone. Fucking annoying, you little shit! Get fucking back here! Another one. Ah, he's going into this corner. He's got nowhere to fucking run now. There you go. Suck it, you fucking dickhead. Alright, so we've got three more boys to find. He's not one of them. He's he's the he's the gatekeeper. Dun, 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 dun. Oh, this little shit. Yeah, that's right. This is the little cunt here that decides to get behind a fucking guard after jumping off of a ledge holding a fucking kaku. A fly. Okay. So, when you're a child, you can grab hold of the chickens and use them to fly. You fuckers. <laughs> like, you grab it by the fucking legs and, like, it helps you glide down. Stop doing ballet at him. <laughs> All right, so that's two. All right, I need to Three. go up here. Battle, I don't have time to fucking talk to you. You're always complaining that we're running out of time. Stop fucking bothering me. My turtle tail. Don't you dare, you fucking little shit. I can give you a spank fucking bottom cunt. I wonder why we don't have. <laughs> yeah, I'd be a pretty bad parent. <laughs> oh, you fucking little. Okay. See? This fucking little cunt! Hang on, hang on. Where's your fucking logic, sir? I was gonna you say, say, where's your parent? <laughs> you say, I can't go out there without a fucking weapon. Or a parent or a guardian, and yet you let that little cunt behind you. Where's your fucking justice, mate? Asshole. So, pretty sure there's one. Actually, no, there's one in East Cop. So if we go here. Go into East Clock Town. One. Yeah, right up there. Then we can go back there and do the other one. Those fucking girls down there are really creepy. Like doing their fucking dancing at night. Dangerous to go alone. Take this. Is it a baseball bat? No, it's my sweetness. It's a sky. Oh no, you caught me. There's only one left. See? The the, 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 these girls here, these like performers are fucking weird. It's like you, you go up to them and you talk to them like, Don't bother us! A pissy. Fuck you and your performance. You could not be a rude prick. <laughs> Alright, um. A bit like the um, honeybee girls. Honeybee girls? On a fancy, you have to pester them and they're like, Eek! A boy! Um, until they put maker up on you. Like, oh, uh, with cloud. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> I'll, leave, I'll leave you alone if you put makeup on me. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm aware what? of the meme, and I'm aware of where it comes from. The meme. 
But it became a meme because everyone, like, fucking macros it. Okay, one, have my two, full catastrophe. three, four, five. So two, five, four, one, three. Hang on, is that different? Yes. Five. One, two, three. Like, oh, that's five, easy. two, three, one. Holy shit! Okay, so it's randomly generated. Yeah, I remember it being oddly in order. Two, five, four, one, three. All right, we'll screenshot that because even though it's going to be fucking useless after this. In here, then it's to West Clock Town. That was a super early meme that someone captured onto a photo of a small kitten in someone's hand. Yes, that's the one. It's dangerous to go alone and take this, and it's a kitten. Oh, I thought you meant the honeybee. That's what I was talking about. No, we're talking about the original Zelda. I know that. Alright, so the code is... 2... 4... Five, one, three. What? Fuck! Oh, don't do that, bitch. Okay. Two. Five? You screenshotted it. Four, one, three. I'm trying to remember it. Ah! There we go, success! Is it hot in here? It's boiling. <laughs> Sounds about right. Right. Oh, there we go. That's nice. Like the sweat and the fucking fan. All right, cool. Fan is. Oh look, we're bashing your fucking pots, mate. Majora. Majora is the uh, the mask itself. Like it's it's from the tribe. Uh, this is like Majora's mask. So they, they hey. explain the origins of the mask um, very soon in the game, but don't have patience. Yeah, I know. I'm going to explain it now. Um, I don't have pictures. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> um, so, the mask itself comes from a tribe of, um, like a tribe of voodoo practices. And, um, the mask gave their, one of their, like, their tribe chieftain doctors, whatever, um, some pretty, like, pretty insane powers. So they locked it away. And they they hit it. You remember how I was how I was arguing the other night, like um, they hit they sealed it away forever in, a, in an unknown location, and somehow the fucking happy mask guy has it on him. Like, he went on adventure. I told you. Yeah. It's just like uh. I think most people source their stock. Get an A and B N, and then fucking online. <laughs> yes, I'll gaze into the telescope. Yeah. Gaze into the telescope, look around, feel the things. And we zoom in on the Skull Kid. He makes fun of us. Vulcan. Oh, he's so little. Ah, oh, fuck. <laughs> what um, I find incredible is that 
the telescope is able to do like a complete loop around to look on the ground below it when most telescopes are like stuck in like a certain rotational position like on a certain axis a lot of them are actually pretty versatile they like have one point of action so they can be moved anywhere other thing more of the um sort of focus being a change that so don't at me at telescopes i don't have brain power yeah right okay now. like fair enough <laughs> most, most telescopes are usually like this like dome with like a fucking penis sticking out this one here is more of a, a loopy loop around a fucking pole sort of thing Although, Always a dome, it's like tripod. You know what I find incredibly astonishing about this telescope? Most telescopes are usually like what? Point to point because they have the mirrors and stuff like that. that like, oh, they, could, they must have mirrors. That would be mirrory. Yeah, but like, how, you see how many mirrors would you need in that place to actually see out of it effectively? Wanna? Yeah. That's crazy. They're higher tuned, that's probably why they can see so far away. They're lined up properly. Alright, so we've got the moons here. So, the next stage of this is to... Get you some, uh, someone to learn you about telescope. <laughs> It'll take up a good three days or two. Uh, how many rupees was it? Chick needed. Oh. oh, what do you want, Tattle? Kill. Fucking shut up! Hey! Oh, listen. I can't remember how much, how many rupees the the chick wants to set up a banking account. Ugh, don't mention bank account. <laughs> Fuck it. <laughs> You're a bit bitter or something. It's been a day, man. No. I'm supposed to open a bank account. A business bank account before you get the bank stuff. But you can't because you have to wait until you get an ABN. You get the bank the drugs, stuff. Then you get the girls. Then you get the girls, you get the power. Well, and then you get the. Don't then, because you need the power to get the girls. <laughs> and then Centrelink wants you to fill out 14 forms that you have no idea because you have no girls, no power, and no money or drugs. And then. <laughs> He's slightly mad. <laughs> I'm tired. Been a long week. <laughs> now you're supposed to know how many girls you can get with the power that you don't have. <laughs> and you have to fill out a mod F form for some reason. An SU-580. Don't mention the SU-580. Gah. Forbid you mention the SU-580. Hey. <laughs> and. A-10? Yes. A-10's fine. I have done so many K-10s in my... <laughs> I could do K-10s in my sleep. Crap. That's right, you've got to deposit 200 rupees. For a bank account? But don't forget, each person who wants to make a bank account needs to be there, f have been with the bank for a year at least. So going to a new bank is out of the question. Now, the interesting thing about this this character model 
This character model was the homeless chick in Ocarina of Time. <laughs> but suddenly she now has a banking empire. <laughs> I mean, that happens. You start a business. Fucking shit and fucking shit. <laughs> On a scale of 1 to 10, how fucking <laughs> mad are you? It's Friday night. <laughs> I'm on a scale of Monday morning to Friday night. So, for those who uh, are slightly unaware, Raspberry has been setting up the foundations of our empire. <laughs> Banking empire. She is the director, the manager, the uh, cat wrangler, apparently. Track <laughs> um, <laughs> Raspberry Grant's coming soon. Yes, new flavor. <laughs> new flavor of rants. She, she, we're starting um, a creative business together. So, like, it's going to mostly be her thing. And I'm going to do things for occasionally. Like, when the creativity spikes. I, I don't think it's going to be, like, you know, as fluid like that. I think I will, like, contribute a fair amount. It's just finding the fucking time to do it. That's the thing. It's like, if get this successful enough we'd be able to do it full time true but um the, the idea of it is that we're going to combine our creative talents together to offer creative services to people so um, she can do like drawings and um digital art and you know logos and stuff like that and i can do animations and um overlays overlays Video intro. Video intros, like creative assets and that sort of thing. I'm currently working Come on, read on read on the thing that I wrote you. <laughs> Look, I don't have it in front of me. I have hey. a drink in front of me. <laughs> so, I'm going to be excused. I'm working and drinking, so fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> right, for this. Um, but the idea is that we're both going to be doing creative assets and stuff together. I'm currently ish working on a cyberpunk asset pack so like um told you to work on the business card <sighs> all right i'll work on the business card then <laughs> um but like like if you like you know when you go to create something and you're like oh i know how to do this thing in this program but i'm shit at making everything else like i'm shit at making you know the little graphics the little icons you know that sort of shit right the idea that i've got is to make a bunch of asset packs that people can just you know people can just buy right and they can just chuck it into their existing like after effects projects or something like that and just use those instead of having to go th like and learn like six different programs themselves to fucking do this that and the other um so there's the you know something that i can contribute because i can create some pretty decent cyberpunk assets as, as as you guys know from the constantly fucking changing um if fucking... put his energy into selling them instead of changing his own <laughs> yeah if i put the my energy into selling them instead of creating my like like fucking around with my own you know i probably would be in business already um mm. but you know that's the thing um we're going into this together so this will be raspberry's full-time thing it'll be part-time for me until we get to a point where we can both do it time. Maybe. We'll see. Depending. Yeah. But yep. we don't know how this is going to be, and Centrelink just wants to know that, and we can't tell them until we know, and we don't know until we tell them. So, like, either they're, they're, they're banking on the idea that you're going to uh, breach... Um... Yeah, I think it's the same form for if you're starting Centrelink with a well-established business. Why would you need to? Like, make a different form, people. They're like, make sure you declare this in the first two weeks. But make sure you've already had a tax income statement, loss, product loss, your last balance sheet everything else like i'm not gonna have that in the first two weeks like i don't even know what half that shit is <laughs> <laughs> well that's what i've been researching for the last month yes those are words <laughs> uh-huh uh-huh 
why I'm the manager and you're the spokesperson. Spokesperson. <laughs> I can talk shit, apparently. Mm -hmm. Now, where is this fucking other scarecrow? I, ne I like need him to do the dance so we can go forward in time. Have you tried checking your butthole? Get up, but up, butthole. Wait, no, he's in uh, Eastern Clock Town, that's right. Eastern Clock Town. But yeah, we um we invested in a uh, an iPad for Raspberry, um and you know I'm I'm the sort of person that's like no fucking Apple products in in our house. Um, and then I was like, bullshit. <laughs> um. But, like, it's something that, like, she can use this program called Procreate on it. And it's They're the only... bringing out for Apple. Wait, it's coming out? Not coming oh, out. Oh, it's not coming out? Okay. No. <laughs> I was like, you fucking what? I know, right? I just clicked the wrong fucking option. Fuck no. off. Start the conversation again. Skip. Get up, but up, but hold. Uh, how do you talk to that man? I contact. Up here, buddy. Flail. That's an epic flail. <laughs> Get up out of butthole. <laughs> Oh. Baby. Yeah, crew. Yeah, so he dances and we dance the time away, so we basically skip forward twelve hours. Um, because the idea of at this point we need to get to the end of the third day to start the initial encounter with the Skull Kid. Because that's how we get our ocarina back. I'm going to crawl into bed and play some Pokemon. It's been a crazy week here and my brain is mushy because of it. All good, Midnight Victoria. I know that shit's a little bit fucked up in Queensland right now, so hope you're playing safe. Um, but yeah, go play some Pokemon. Which which Pokemon are you playing? Are you playing um, Arceus? Because I've uh, I've got a uh, what is it? Sword. Yeah, I've got Sword. I finished that, but I didn't complete the Pokedex. I should really go back and play that again. Expansions? No. Oh no, I finished the first expansion. I don't think I finished the second one. Arceus. Gonna get around all the next card. Is anyone still playing Pokemon? I did. Keep downloading it with the intention to go out, but then I run out of Pokeballs. Don't go out. I have friends that still play. I had the little um Pokeball that vibrates every time you go near a Pokemon. Press the button. Wow, this guy looks like a fucking hipster. Uh, oh my god, man. Look at my fucking pants. At midnight, Victoria. See you midnight, Victoria. Have a good night, mate. Look at my pants, man. <laughs> they're like so cross thatched and oh. like they're fucking pink and blue and brown and nobody else has a copy of these. And oh my God, they just make my ass look so good. What the hell was that vibration? Oh my God, it was my phone. Oh wait, <laughs> I don't have a phone. 
It must be this. I was vibrating before it was. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> We're closing the shop, so you have to leave. <laughs> Fucking rude cunts! The vibration. <laughs> there was oh. an earthquake. Oh, that's right. We're we're. Uh, I, I thought we were um, uh, like morning of the second of the sec of uh, the final day. But apparently, we're at the evening of the second day, so we have to actually get to the clock tower first. I'm pretty sure you like, just clicked too many times. Yeah, pretty much. The door to the clock tower opens once a year. Oh no! At midnight on the eve of the carnival. What? Wait till next. Yes, next year. That's like three days away. Please fight. <laughs> Include voice acting in your creative skill. <laughs> On Fiverr. I mean, I could do voiceovers if I really wanted to. But I don't. Because I talk do all day at work. With Good day. Do you like playing video games? Do you like making cool things? How about you sign up for this go fuck yourself and pay $9.99 per month? Um. $9.99 to fuck myself? Oh, how free! <laughs> what was that for? For free! <laughs> oh, for three. I'll have three. Hey, uh, some of like. <laughs> You guys know the story that I used to get bullied in high school, right? Um, one of the funniest things that I ever picked up from that was somebody would punch me in the arm and I'd go, what the fuck was that for? And they go, for free. <laughs> yeah. Hilarious. <laughs> don't stop to get up there I don't know that was like don't stop don't stop believing yeah <laughs> now you have a reason beat up people Dot 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 Wow, you sound like a client that, you know, likes to try to use punctuation but ends up using too many full stops at the end of a sentence and making it sound incredibly fucking condescending. Not even ellipses anymore. You were bullied because you were playing Zelda? No, 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 no. No. I was bullied just because. Because I was a kid that didn't go to that, like, didn't live in the area. I think that's right. It's a reason. I tend to rub people the right way sometimes. Yeah, if you that... just rub them the right way, they wouldn't have pain. <sighs> Look, I'll rub myself the right way, thank you. Go fuck yourself. You deserve <laughs> it. <laughs> Ew. No one was right. It was Tattletail. Swamp, mountain, ocean, canyon. Hurry, the four that are there, bring them here. Shut up, fairy! I need to go into it. What are you doing to my brother? What? The, the two fairies are brother and sister. I yeah, there was boy one. Yeah, so that's the boy, and the one that we've got is the girl. The older sister. That was weird. The other one was green at the time. That is the one you have. My brain hurts. Three screens in here with the same visuals. <laughs> They're all different. Uh. Uh. Oh no! Breathing in his nose. Oh really? <laughs> I thought you said the Deco Kid was useless. What? I thought you said the Deco Kid was useless. No, I didn't say that. Oh, keep calling him a scrub. 
That's what he's called. The what? Deku Scrub. Really? Yes. Sure. I'll bet you five dollars. Don't bet me five dollars. Look it up. No. <laughs> Don't have access to me. Was there many? Was there any or many bugs in the game when you played it back so long ago? This um, is back used to be the time when they actually finalized games when they released them. <laughs> yeah, before, you know, digital downloads and DLC. They just release it and then, oh, we'll fix it later. <laughs> we'll fix it post-launch. Um, to be honest, I never really noticed any. Um, yeah. Because I wouldn't have known what to look for. Um, it was only it, bugs and issues really only started coming up once games had access to the internet i really know like the first one i ever noticed was in f10 oh yeah yeah there was a trouble with exia i can't remember but it was like yeah that was the first time i'd ever seen a bug in a game okay okay there were like impossible loops and things like that and um broken things bugs Link, you're already leaving this land of Hyrule, aren't you? <laughs> Legend of Plink. Even though it was only a short time, I feel like I've known you forever. I'll never forget the days that we spent in Hyrule. Got it? <laughs> Premise? Got it? <laughs> She's like a like a dumb Pokemon. Promise! Promise, promise, promise! Promise! I said goddess. Oh, I thought you said promise, because they say promise. Anyway. <laughs> and I believe in my heart that a day will come when I shall meet you again. <laughs> <laughs> Until that day comes, please, take this! It's my COVID-ridden ocarina. You should probably uh, uh, use a uh, face uh, mask uh, 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 when you're blowing into it. And I wouldn't be able to blow into it, dumb bitch. <laughs> <laughs> I'm praying. Praying that the journey that, that you're on be a safe one. I completely it's fucked that up. not what it says at all. <laughs> I know, but shut the fuck up. <laughs> if something should happen to you, remember this song. Da, 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 da. <laughs> no, wait, that's oh, the wrong like... one. Riding on my pony. Fuck! You fucked it up. Yeah, no, I, I don't need to be reminded, thank you. Oh, you can go into shopping centers with no mask on? And you no QR code. We still have masks. We don't have QR codes anymore. Only half. You still have to use them in the chemist and stuff, and doctors. Don't have to use them on public transport. Not a chemist or doctors, is it? I know, I'm just saying. Good boy. Fucking it's so weird here now. We can walk into a shopping center with no mask and no QR code. Oh. Funny you should mention that. I was just talking about that. Yeah, well, mine's delayed. Shut up. <laughs> you Adelaide. You remember the song of time. This melody lingering on the edges. I was fucking reading that, cunt. <laughs> Fuck you. Your mind is a song of memories of Princess Zelda. Came up on the stream. <laughs> and then you missed another thing as you were looking this way. The goddess of time is protecting you. If you play the song of time, she will aid you. Step out of it! Hey. What are you doing in lost in your memories? You need a QR code and a vax to get a haircut. Yeah, because that's technically spending time with somebody. It's like a personal service or something. Uh, Technically a meeting if it's over 15 minutes or something. It's a gathering. Right, so th this is the part of the mechanic which is really cool, so... Huh? 
When did you get that instrument? Bloop, bloop. Doot, doot. <laughs> doot. <laughs> doot. <laughs> what the frick? He's blowing into his penis and then shooting out of, out of his ass. Apparently. It was an ocarina a second ago. And this is where we save and go back to the dawn of the first day. Hey. So you'll see in a moment. Don't always have to. No, you don't have to. But the thing about the save things before is that you're playing it in an emulator. Yes. I used one of those cheekily on the bus because I was nowhere near <gasps> one of the hours. Yeah. <laughs> well, it makes sense because you're like... You're on a bus. The um, Nintendo 64 could on a bus. Expected you to plan like... Yeah. It didn't expect you to be called to dinner by your mother. <laughs> um, now, one of the, the debates, the long-running debates about this game is that they think it's a, like a vivid dream of Link's, like as if he's in a coma or something. Like the time that he gets, like the, the part where he gets knocked out in the forest, he goes into a coma or you know, like he's... Fucking hell. He's like fucking unconscious in the forest and this entire thing dream. Um, it makes sense because the whole thing's fucking trippy as hell. That's what they said about Harry Potter. It was like, and then Harry woke up. Fuck off. <laughs> he woke Such up in combat. the broom cupboard. He never got the, yeah. the letter for Hogwarts. That's the thing. I can see up your nostrils. I can see up the moon's nostrils. Oh, it was the moon. <laughs> I say right up your nose. That instrument. Did you Where completely did you put forget it? a what? Man, she is so fucking passive aggressive. Jesus. The precious thing. Fucking. Be good if you could get. Uh, pick which one you get. <laughs> It's like, were you able to recover the, the precious item from that imp? Like, hey, this, ho this, this whole thing inside the clock tower apparently is outside of the time loop because he remembers everything <laughs> like if you were going back in well, time maybe, to the dawn of the first day maybe if he's far enough to get the mask magic enough to get magic enough to override the power of back in times maybe hey he has more listen power. no you fucking listen how you doing sin <laughs> Child abuse. <laughs> uh, he's got an Elvis mask on his he's back. Rubbing you. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> I think that's an Elvis. I never fucking noticed that before. What the hell? Dude, this is some fucking exorcist shit. I know, right? <laughs> I have an itchy eye yourself. I am drinking Kraken and playing Legend of Zelda and having a time. I ran to. Yeah, you missed her rant about Centrelink before. S two five eighty. Majora. Or mm. Zelda. It is pretty much horror Zelda, yeah. What I like about it. Ultimacy. Castle. Nightmare Zelda. <laughs> Bye, bitch! <laughs> Doesn't look. That looked like it. What the fuck? What the fuck is this shit? Oh my god! 
This melody. This is a melody that heals melody. evil magic melody. and troubled spirits, turning them into masks. Oh. He's turned people into masks. Wow. <laughs> he, he didn't find the masks. He fucking bitched them up. You bitched them up? <laughs> Do I need to pour you another drink? I had too many. You had one! <laughs> That's not enough! It was too many. I'll uh, make you stronger next time. Oh god, no. <laughs> He's the one making the people into the masks. Rob. Oh, you. Oh, he you. And a little cootie. That cootie. There's a Deku princess that you've got to save in the first dungeon, like in the first temple of this. <laughs> She's such a little bitch. <laughs> I admit, like, she's as bad as fucking Princess Ruto, like, in the fucking water dungeon of uh, Ocarina of Time. Like, just, like, throws herself on the floor and expects to be carried everywhere. <laughs> like, fuck me. Just, you've got fucking legs. Walk. Uh, it's too hard. And please, give me that of which you promised me. I didn't fucking promise anything to you, cunt. Did. Anything. I no, I didn't fucking say a word. He took my non verbalness as a verbal non verbal agreement. Literally. <laughs> uh yeah, no, this is where he, he goes psycho and shoots up a school. What? My mask. You did get it back. Didn't you? Oh no. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> like how he goes from like happy to like, I'm gonna fucking kill you! <laughs> Anime style. So this is where they explain what Majora's Mask comes from. So Can't they read uh, do it? The, uh, it's an accursed item from the legend that is said to have been used by ancient and an ancient tribe in its hexing rituals. Hex. It is said that an evil and wicked power is bestowed upon the one who wears the mask. Why would they make it a mask? I don't know. According make to legend... Unwearable. <laughs> The troubles caused by Majora's Mask were so great. Oh look, it's Terminator 2! The Ancient Ones, fearing such a catastrophe, sealed the mask in the shadow forever, preventing its misuse. And yet this cunt has it! But now, the, the tribe the, uh, from the legend has vanished, so no one really knows the true nature of the mask's power. But I feel it. I caressed it. I slept with it. I bathed it. He touched it inappropriately. <laughs> oh no, that, I think that, that face is even worse. <laughs> Looks like he's having an orgasm. That's what your orgasm? <laughs> <laughs> the, the, um, gourmet from... <laughs> a giggle. I went to great lengths to get that legendary mask when I finally had it. I could sense the doom of a dark omen brewing. It was unwelcome feeling. That unwelcome feeling that makes your hair stand on end. Somebody hacked my account because I didn't have an authenticator on it and all my legendary items were gone. Ah. I'm not and a now mod. that imp has it. I'm not a mod. Stop giving me your personal information. I am begging you, you must get that mask back quickly or something horrible will happen! To you. 
I'm begging you, I'm begging you, you must do it! Do it. Really? <laughs> You'll do it for me? I didn't fucking say anything. <laughs> Stop taking my non-fucking answers as a fucking non-verbal compliance. Lying. Kill the one complying. I was certain you would tell me that. I told you nothing! Praise be the Lord! Yeah. Please bring my ears. <laughs> You'll be fine. Surely you can do it. Believe in your strengths. Believe. Not. It was good enough for the Princess of Hyrule. <laughs> Zelda's like, he didn't say no, did he? <laughs> <laughs> well then. Oh. Now that we have a sword and a shield. Keep on thinking someone's knocking. <laughs> hey, stop right there, criminal scum! Have you some errand to run in the swamp? It's dangerous to go outside the walls, and I cannot allow a child like you to. Hey, no, a sword. when any cocks around here. My apologies, sir. It was wrong of me to treat you like a child. <laughs> the sullen swamp at the woodfall lies in this direction. Ah, that's Be careful. With Evo Land, that's where that's from. They're like, you can't do this, you're just a child, and then you have to find this nut to grow up instantly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Also, Ocarina of Time, I don't believe this theme, the le the classic legendary Zelda theme, the, the classic legendary Zelda Zelda melody was ever played in Ocarina of Time. Sure. I'm very fucking sure it's not. What the heck? I don't even think it's in the overworld. Goop. With goop inside. So those, those are um choo-choos. Oh, they look very different. <laughs> yeah, no, there's like different iterations in each game. Yeah, the same as Final Fantasy. You will be a loud Zelda in my house. <laughs> is that a, your brother thing? Absolutely. <laughs> Was there a reason why, or is it just he because- He didn't like it, therefore no one should be allowed it. Hey! Mister! Eh! 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 The fucking they had. Oh. I mean... I had a good reason for that, not just because I didn't like them. Give me my nuts. Deku nuts. Got Deku nuts, I got Koopa nuts. Uh Koopa nuts. <laughs> well fuck me, it isn't. Is it? What? He's talking about the uh the Legend of Zelda, the classic Legend of Zelda melody. Not in uh, Ocarina of Time. Oh right. <laughs> We've really gotta talk about our talking about the talking things. Don't worry, I've had that. I've, I've had a uh, certain, certain someone in chat have a go at me about that this week. Ooh. Oh, she didn't really have a go at me, but you know. <laughs> um. The melody is incorporated into the overworld theme, but not. It's not properly present. I don't think it's in there. Like it's not as prominent. Prominent like it is in this game. Like in this game, it's quite distinct and clear that it's the Legend of Zelda melody. Right? The did do 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 Yeah, we know what it is. You just sounded like you were pointedly saying it. The frick? Fucking bitch, give me back my fucking rupees, you cunt! Come back here, you fucking cunt! I will fucking end you! That space buttons.
Bitch! Get the fuck back here with my fucking money, you cunt! In the use of the theme is a single phrase repeated, repeated twice in the Hyrule Field music. Outside of this, it does not play at any point during the game. Ah, uh, the tattle. It's a tattle. I wonder why it had a. Oh, I found a hole. Oh no, not these things. I hate these things. <laughs> They, like, just chase you forever. They hit like a fucking hunt, too. Fuck off, bitch! Jesus! Ooh! Big golden chest! <laughs> like a bra? Uh... Golden titties. Golden titties. I wonder what's in it, because, like, these chests are usually, like, super rare items. Oh, it's a fucking piece of heart. I sh should have kn <laughs> should have known it would have been something that was, like, you know, he here is something that's useful, but, like, nothing major. <laughs> Ow. Baby. Hey, there's a step there, dickhead. trying to avoid going through this cutscene. I tried to walk as far around it as I could. It still happened. I mean, it, it is. It, it basically reta retells the tale of how they met the Skull Kid. One day, I met the Skull Kid. The end. Basically, he was being a cunt to his friends and he was crying under a fucking bit of wood. I'm under some wood. And then they befriended him by being close to his chest and becoming his boobies. <laughs> I get fairy boobies. <laughs> fairy boobies. <laughs> snuggle, 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 snuggle. <laughs> Oh, that's what you look like without the mask on. You're an ugly little fucker, aren't you? There you go. Very boobies. And my boobies is a boy. What size do you think they would be, chat? Big. These double Ds. Ah, they drew that in such pixelation. <laughs> wow, pixel art. <laughs> hey, Carl, how you doing, dude? Carl. Long time no see, mate. How you doing? Donks. <laughs> no. <laughs> the other one. Girls. If. Bam ba 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 da 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 da
All the Ness and bourbon for me. Nice. Very nice. We're uh, drinking Kraken tonight. Necessary bourbon. Oh, no. Oh, no, you don't, cunt. No, you fucking don't. Fuck off. Fuckhead. At least you know what they're going to drop, though. Yeah, the bats don't drop anything. Either. The choo-choo. Oh, yeah, the choo-choos, yeah. You were going towards a choo-choo on the stream. I was not. I, I mean, before I was, but not just now. What I said. On the stream, you were going towards it, which is before. The before times. Right now, that way is not the way. <laughs> not the way. This way is the way. It is the way. Nice. It's so fucking great having the fucking N64 on the Switch, honestly. Like, it just makes sense. Yeah. Just like, it's relatively low performance. Like, it, do it doesn't require a great, great deal of hardware. Like, even a fucking potato of, like, you know, of, of a PC from, like, six years ago can run this at at least 30 FPS. Um, and, like, it consumes, like, fuck all battery, too. So, like, playing it on the go is just perfect. Although it is, like, slightly jarring going back to Skyward Sword on the Switch. Going mm -hmm. from, like, fucking 24 to 30 FPS in this and then going to 60 in that. <laughs> like, oh my god, my eyes. It's, it's beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it makes it better, so... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have a fucking photo, dude. Got your Nintendo 64 hooked up via HDMI through your HD60 because nerd life. Have you got one of the, the s um adapters to HDMI? Because I've been looking at getting one of those for the, the uh, Super Nintendo. We got a, an original uh, SNES unit uh, there that still works. And um, like a bunch of the, ga like the game cartridges as well. So um, yeah, I've been looking to pop that up on the stream at some point. Just have to buy the, the appropriate cable for it. Now, I have no idea what that fucking dude wants. He's like, oh, can you help me? Oh, uh, you can't help yep. me. <laughs> no. <laughs> you don't know what I want. Well, fucking tell me what you want, you cunt. What you really, really want. It's a hyper something cable from memory. Ah, it's one of my branded cables. <laughs> there you go. I see. It's one of my branded cables. Fuck cable. off. You okay. fucking. Yes. I am very much living up to my fucking Twitter bro uh, bio right now. Can't, but cute. No, that's not my Twitter bio. Although. I pick in. Did you play the original SimCity on uh, SNES? I did play the original um, SNES version of SimCity and I was like addicted to it, but I reckon I'd hate it these days. I didn't. You need a swear it. jar? No, I don't need a swear jar because my Twitter bio says somehow I yell oh, profanities right. <laughs> into a microphone and it becomes content. <laughs> I mean, tell me I'm wrong. <laughs> You're wrong, but not about that. <laughs> oh. Well, I'm definitely not wrong about Majora's Mask being the better of the two Zelda games on the Nintendo 64. Sure. I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> trying to get a rise out of me? No. Not gonna work. No, I'm trying to get a rise out of anyone else in chat. <laughs> Drink every time you swear. I don't think I want to drive him to the hospital without a car or a driver's license. Nah, just let me die. <laughs> I'll have to. <laughs> the only option left. There is no other option. Which reminds me, I need um another can of drink, so I'll get that up in a minute. <laughs> get that up. You know what? I'm going to get that now. 
All I'm right. gonna get that I'm, up. Uh, head out. <laughs> uh, we'll be back in a moment, chat. Don't go anywhere. You'll be left with the lovely oh, God. tones of uh, half-cut <laughs> raspberry shape. You were gonna say dulcet again. I was gonna say dulcet, and then I decided to change it up. I'll be back in a sec, guys. I complained last time. I'm not dulcet enough. How are we all? I don't know what to say. Yeah, I wasn't brought up on Zelda, so I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Um... Final Fantasy is clearly superior to either of those games. So... I don't know what you're talking about. Final Fantasy clearly better. No, because I'll stay up all night. Stop getting connected to everything. This isn't Wi-Fi. This is wife's table. All right, chat. <laughs> we're back. <laughs> Sorry, we're going to pause us some cracking. No, pause no. us. <laughs> pause us. We pause us the magics. We we'll pause the game and then we we'll pause the magic. Cracking. Good enough, yeah? Enough pour? Oh, no. So it's rum? What percentage is it? It's uh, 40%, 40. I believe. 43? Yeah, forty percent. Stop sounding like P. Why is all the rum gone? That's what we're waiting to do. <laughs> the finished. Yep. When we finish it, that's what we're gonna yell. Why is the rum always gone? <laughs> All right, let's go back into it. Back to the game. Follow the monkey. I was saying that my that Final Fantasy is way better than any of the other games that you have proposed. Final Fantasy fourteen. No. Zelda. Final Fantasy is better than Zelda. I'm not going to argue with this one, but I'm not. I'm not saying that it is or isn't. You know it to be true. Do spirits just hit you all of a sudden? Um. Did all of a sudden? I mean, hmm. I don't think so. I didn't even get through the first cup. It depends on um, how you drink it. Like, um, if you tend to do the dumb shit that I do, which is when your parents give you a fucking mm -hmm. like expensive, like an expensive fucking whiskey glass of shot glass. Fuck no, no. Nah, like, what was the shot glass one? That was it. Was a whiskey glass they gave me. I was okay. supposed to sip at it, and I ended up sculling the whole fucking thing. Yeah, and we all yelled at you. Um, was it port? No. Yeah, I think it was something like that. It was port or whiskey, like a fucking. I think I think it was like a hundred year old whiskey, some shit. I don't mm, know. Eighty year old. Eighty year old. Very whiskey. expensive. Very expensive shit, and like they they had a glass like this, right? It was about this full of the the whiskey itself, right? And. Like me, just being me, it's like sculling it, like not listening, not listening, and they're like, "What the fuck are you doing? You're supposed to savor it." I'm like, "Oh, really? What?" <laughs> Too drunk by then. I mean, when you're in the last third of the bottle, we haven't got that far in one time. Yeah, no, we we um don't typically drink a whole bottle at once. Um, like. 
because like alcohol is a what do you call it um, commodity a novelty <laughs> um fuck off i'm not trying to hit you can't well fuck off um alcohol's a novelty for us so like we will buy it on occasion and we'll make a bottle last you know a decent amount of time like how long did that fucking um bottle of vodka the swedish vodka that we had i think it was about a month yeah yeah probably yeah so so on new year's eve um you know el depresso mode um i bought i decided to just randomly buy ourselves a bottle of vodka vodka yeah. Bought ourselves a bottle of vodka uh, called uh, Absolute Vodka. And I thought it was like, oh, hey, this is a cool looking bottle. Um, turns mm -hmm. out it's Swedish, it's not Russian. Um, Absolute Russia. So we bought that and we made that last us about a month together, like between the two of us. So We only have like one or two every not school night. Yeah, like usually on Friday nights we'll have a couple of drinks have rules and i have implemented those rules yeah she doesn't let me drink on work nights as much as you know work does tend to drive you towards that yeah but i've seen people abuse the role too much now i've got i i was put rules on when i was little not little little but she's been drinking since she was little yeah <laughs> booby eyes <laughs> Kume and Kame. The, the witch sisters. Yep. Now the um the rules. Never drink alone. Always drink after food. Don't get drunk somewhere you don't know and don't drink on a school night. That's better. Yeah, you worked out how to change your your um YouTube name. Hell yeah. <laughs> It's always good. It's always good when uh, somebody works that out because, uh, like, mm. when it creates a YouTube channel based on your name, like, I think they started doing that from like 2013 onwards. And I was like, "This is disgusting. Why are you fucking making us use our real names?" Mm. And um, yeah, like, you can change your channel name to your online alias. It's great. Right. So let's give this hag a fucking bottle of red juice. Goopy eyes. Look, it's vaginal blood. <laughs> she drinks it and she becomes revitalized. <laughs> blood of children. <laughs> You're right, dickhead. <laughs> Jesus. What? Brum brums. Oh, yeah. Feel the energy flow. Kume is revived. Hume, hume, uh... And she pulls a broomstick from her ass. Okay. I know. You want a free boat ride? Come see me. You want a free ride? Wasn't it some anti-bullying crud uh, from Google Wave? Wasn't it? When they would. Like forcing you to play, make your own, have your own thing on Google Plus. I don't remember. I know that it was during our time at Adam. Have you tried the new John Romero level for Doom Two? I have not, but Raptor Shadow might have. Raptor, are you still in the chat, buddy? Is the bot mods thing going to be? Hey. Oh. I need to buy a data. Ah, uh, yep. Have you tried the um the uh, remastered Quake and the uh, the what is it the Horde mode that they added to it?
Remastered Quake is glorious. I liked when they brought out um, uh, Quake 64 on uh, PC. I ended up playing that at work. <laughs> Alright, let's talk to the hag. Boopy eyes. So now we get a photo box, pictograph box. Word for that. Doom 64. Yeah, Doom 64, yeah. The Quake. Oh, did I say Quake 64? <laughs> Fuck me. I'm pretty sure they've got Quake 64 on fucking PC now as well. Pretty sure we fucking discussed this. Oosh. Quake 64 port was included with the Quake remaster, but it wasn't anything special. Well, that's... I, do, I did mean Doom 64, but I was technically right. Now, technically, it's a meal. Technically, it's a win. All right, so now we need to snap something. Yeah. Snap, snap the froggy. Wait, no, we'll do this dude. Do the ah, dude. Fuck! No, <laughs> not that high. <laughs> no. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Come on, we can. Do oh fuck! I ruined it. <laughs> I was very pleased the Quake remaster turned out as good as it did. The upgraded monster models and textures are very tastefully done. We still need to play the survival mode, or the, sorry, the horde mode, dude. We need to play that together sometime. You're free over the weekend. Play some a little bit. Oh yeah, this is a banger. Right, so this is where we need to put on the Deku mask, and this is where you get to see Link in absolute pain. Normal. Ah, it's been for spin. Oh, the the one that you were gonna do on stream. Didn't look very painful. I've been in more pain than this. I mean, as a fucking 13 year old kid, that looked painful. The 13 year old kid, I was starting to have pain. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so like, if you look at it, puts it on, and then like just the bloodshot eyes and everything. Okay. <laughs> Might be talking to the wrong person, dude. <laughs> now King Deku King Deku Pissed off about his daughter being kidnapped Apparently the monkey did it <laughs> Fucking monkey Yeah the GM of the organizer got keen But not free tomorrow Apparently the, the, he suddenly had a house guest And need, and need to crash for the night they yeah, messed up with the timing bad. Ah, fuck, mm. that's gross, dude. Happens, though. Yeah, shit happens. But yeah, we, we can uh, play some uh, tomorrow. I'm gonna, like... Because of the, some of the stuff that's happening at work at the moment, um, I'm gonna be doing some fucking around in Visual Studio tomorrow. Um, but yeah, just hit me up and we'll play some. You know, play for a bit. It'd be cool to see how, like, the, the horde mode actually goes. Now. Yeah. <laughs> you heard about it, did ya? <laughs> yeah. It was... It's, uh... It's interesting. Mm-hmm. Now, if anyone else has uh, ever played a game before where uh, you've got line of sight that you need to avoid guards with, this is one of those games. Uh... 
On times. No, I don't want to do that. I was using my nose, you can't. Ah! <laughs> One out of ten. Lol asked Xbox for a refund. Is that just because you're bad at video games, Carl? <laughs> you can make animations on him. Fuck! Not drunk enough. <laughs> Probably not drunk enough. I mean, Raptor's doing pretty well at it, and he sucks at those games. What? Oh yeah, that's right, I need to go this way first. Are you still hanging around with Wazza and whatnot? I haven't spoken to Warren in ages. Down here, look down here. You haven't seen them in ages? I thought you guys were like all best friends and shit. Fuck is this? Hey, I was reading the fucking sign. I didn't want to chop it down. Fucking dumbass. Oh, Bean Dude! Bean Dude! This fucking. Dude, like, eating fucking beans out of his... Beans. He's like, oh, I need to sell beans and I should have stopped eating them, but I'm going to fucking keep eating them. Uh. Got some beans. All right, hold on. So... Oh, I got beans. It says I need water. Beans. I need water to fucking make it grow. But I don't have a bottle. Well, yes I do. You got magic beans. I have a fucking bottle, man. I um, have the a lady who drank the pee... The empty pee bottle. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah, the energy bottle. That's right. So, what's the point in doing it in this one? Right, we, we can always buy more. So, magic beans. Beans. Me and the boys at 3 a.m. Beans. Alright, so go grab water. Use the water. Right. Apparently creates a platform that goes up. Oh, it's a chest. Okay. Mm -hmm. A golden chest. Fuck you. Got a red rupee that's worth 20 rupees and I can't hold any more fucking rupees. 
Fuck. <laughs> that goes fucking nowhere. You can't nug it. Get bigger wallets. What you need 200 rupees for. But you can't get 200 rupees if you can't get 200 rupees. Oh, thank fuck it doesn't increase in fucking price this time. Like in um, Ocarina of Time, like, yeah. the, 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 because the beans are like a part of like the fucking progression mechanics, like you buy one and he's like, oh, these things are selling out like fucking hotcakes. Um, now that you've brought one. Now that you've brought one, I'm going to fucking double the price. So every time you fucking buy one, he doubles the fucking price. Exponential. Yeah. It, it's so fucking annoying. But in this one, he's like just selling them like 10 rupees a fucking thing. I'm just going to stock up. And rupees a bang. A bean. You got a bean. Alright, I don't have enough to buy another. Why have I got uh, like this crawling feeling in the back of my neck? Air. Also, getting back to that point where my hair is at the length where it starts to like get d disgusting when I sweat. Again. You can tell. Yeah, but you shaving your head. <laughs> Only just getting to the length <laughs> that I can do. It. So annoying. All right, yeah, you can throw me out. That's fine. Thank you. <laughs> it saves me getting there. <laughs> <laughs> saves me getting out. <laughs> Aha, I can do that. And now we bounce on the water. Bounce on the water. Fire in disguise. Don't fucking burn me. Guys, it would. So you get like four hops before he, he ah, okay. dives in the water. I so was like, thinking it's a little bit like the um, different fire armor. It's like you get the fire armor and the water armor and mm. different ones. Yeah, like, like different like abilities. The, they have different abilities, yeah. Yeah. Like the, this guy here is like, like the, the Deku scrub is like super light. You know, yeah. he, he can get into small places, he can fly. Whereas, like, the, the Goron is, like, big, yep. bulky, I'll fuck you up, cunt, yeah. sort of thing. But and also strong. Yeah, strong, and, like, can lift big boulders and, like, throw powder Humans. kegs and shit. Um, and Ruta. Huh? Ruta. Oh, yeah, when, when you become um, a Zora, you can, like, swim, like, great distances and stuff like that, and you get, like, a, a fishbone guitar. As, as an instrument. Yeah. That sounds relevant. I don't know about you. Did I get two fucking flowers? Well, I get him. No. Fuck you. I remember playing this. Hey, prick! Fuck off! Die! Yeah, fuck off! Spitting spit at him. Blowing fucking snot bubbles at him. Ew. I mean, it's better than the fucking chick from B Billy Madison, like, wipe the boogers from a kid and then, like, <laughs> wipe them all over her fucking neck. My god, you that was you. fucking disgusting! <laughs> <laughs> I don't expect much from an Adam Sandler movie, though. <laughs> Like that's the part that you have problem. <laughs> Yo, butt bubbles. <laughs> Ew. Butt bubbles. Yo, with drinking as much as you had tonight, one and a half. Um, you still think that he wasn't on drugs to see the penguin? 
Yes. Do you really think you hallucinate on, on drugs, on alcohol? Yes. You're hallucinating right now? Yes. Hallucinate this, bitch. I can't think of anything to throw at you. Okay. One and a half bottles? Eh? One and a half cups. trying to throw shit at me. Why? I do that all the time. You don't throw fucking tissues at me then. Drink time. Straight. I'll be up when I uh -huh. <laughs> <coughs> Cheers, chat. No! Don't pull the water out! Oh my god, you fucking idiot! <laughs> Why? Fucking tosser! Can you not use the same water? No. Oh. Hey, it took me back to where I wanted to go anyway. <laughs> it. Come by. Like fucking dying, but then I realized that the fan wasn't blowing any air on me. You kind of like fucking dying. Yeah. Oh really? The dude's like grown out of his little fucking sack already. What? Yeah, fucking headshot, bitch. Bitter. <laughs> Pretty much. What? Bitch! What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, that's it. Get over there. Each. Yeah, fucking eat it. You had to do that right in the middle of the fucking flight path, didn't you, you fucking asshole?
Yeah, bitch. Fuck! Ah! Motherfucker! Bleh. I have to go through all that again. Fucking nugget. Come back here. Okay. Oh, that was a fuck up. <laughs> Alright, buddy, catch me out. There we go. Catch me outside. Also, it's Bandcamp Friday. Why didn't I see your name instantly buying the EP? Huh, huh? <laughs> you got my fucking money, dude. <clears throat> oh, <coughs> it's my off pay week. And okay, can't get paid enough for joy. You know that I would if I had money, all right? You know that, right? Three dollars. <laughs> oh, if it's three bucks, then I'll get it. Yeah. <clears throat> Need money? Hmm? Did you need money? No, if it's like three bucks, I can get it. I was like expecting it to be like 15 or something. Like, yeah, no, 15 is a bit too much. All my EPs are three bucks each. Fuck! I needed to fucking bomb him first! Fuck! No, 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 no! Get, get back on the platform! Get back on the platform, cunt! Fuck you! Fuck! Get on the fucking platform! Fucking asshole! And other adventure. Chef it! it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 60 for our whole subgrugger. Do you actually see the people's name when they buy it? Well, he was looking for yours, so I'm guessing. I thought it was like somewhat anonymous. It's just, hey, you've got money because somebody bought an album. Fuck. I mean, I need to get out, <laughs> out anyway. So. I went back to check the um, quantum thing today and it came up with my name and you know, the thing in the corner. That it usually just says someone brought this in this oh, place. Oh no, it's, it put your name there, did it? Yeah. <laughs> oh shit, son. It was like first name and your initial. Like, god damn it. <laughs> Hi. Uh, okay, yeah, I do have a Bandcamp account because, like, I bought like a bunch of uh, retro wave artist music. Mostly like Dead Life and um, Irving Force. Messier. I didn't buy a Messier through Bandcamp. I bought a Messier. <laughs> oh, you bought a Messier, I didn't. A Messier. Here's a question for you though, Raptor. Do you um release on uh, Tidal? Like when you release to Spotify, do you... um? Do you release the title simultaneously as well? Title. I thought you were saying title. I said title. I thought you were saying title, not title. 
Von Coffin has only been on camp, camping, band camp. Mother fucking. Ugh! Fine, I'm sure he'll release it at some point. <laughs> fucking sneaky bitch. <laughs> Oh, fuck this fucking bullshit! Burn. Burn. Oh, that's right. Poison water! OneDrive, look back at your memories. Fourth of March. Fuck off! Mine has booby. When I did arrow stuff, on, <laughs> arrow stuff on Spotify, ticked all the options. So if title was an option from the distributor, it would be. Okay. Come on, bring the platform back, you fuckers. <laughs> yeah, people are going to expect you to release at that rate forever. Such a good name, Bong Coffin. <laughs> Ten dollars a year per release. So I'd be paying fifty dollars a year to put it on streaming. Really? How much it is? I'm going to wait until I have an actual album. Now that that is perfectly fair. <laughs> like. I thought running a VPS was expensive. That's expensive still. <laughs> I thought running a VPS was expensive, and it is. <laughs> Thirty dollars a month. <laughs> Welcome to my TED talk. <laughs> it's, it's cheap if you don't release a bunch of tracks. Free now, track APs. Oh, because it's like per album, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Boom! Headshot, bitch! <laughs> Got owned! <laughs> Digital Ocean for the win. I don't use Digital Ocean. I use, um, Streamline. Streamline servers, because I've been a client with them for fucking ages. Like, back in the Adam days, I was renting servers from them. Like, TeamSpeak servers and shit. And, um... Aww. When I was running a stream team on Twitch, they were one of our primary sponsors. So I, I worked up a pretty good working relationship with the lads that work there. And, um... I just kept all my shit there anyway. Fuck, I didn't want to do that! Fuck you, can't! Get on the fucking platform! This is what deplatforming looks like. I should probably point out now I'm starting to feel somewhat cut, so. <laughs> cut it out. Ah, <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> that was bad and you're bad. <laughs> that was bad and you should feel bad. <laughs> I have somewhat been sculling the drinks. <clears throat> How many plays would you need to have to re recoup the fee? On streaming, you get fuck all per play. What the... Oh, fuck you, piece of shit. You gave me a fucking heart attack. This music is going to be stuck in my head for the rest of the night. <laughs> you fuck all per play, so it'd probably never get covered unless we blew up hardcore. It's more of an investment in visibility. Mm. It's exposure! Except you're paying for your own exposure! That's called marketing. <laughs> or a waste of money, depending. Just keep my pants on? Bro, I have fucking shorts on. I don't even go nude in my own house, dude. It fucking feels weird. Doesn't shower. <laughs> what? 
You don't shower nude. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't shower nude. Yeah, no, totally. Fuck you, cunt. Get on the fucking platform. Yeah, there, there we go. Get on the level. I didn't ask for this. Maybe. So far, I've made $406 revenue share and PayPal fees. Is that just on, um... Uh... Quake Borg? Or on, uh, music streaming? This November. Free band camp. Oh, fuck off, dude! That's not bad. For a few months worth. To me, who hasn't earned anything in that time. <laughs> Great. Bong, bong coffin sales. Fuck off. Really? What? That's fucking heaps good, dude. Mm -hmm. That's like valid. half of an iron at <laughs> bonus at the end of the month. That's a valid. That's a lot. Hey, monkey. <laughs> they keep yep. saying I kidnapped her. No many times how how many times I say it. Not gonna bring the princess back. You saying it like as if she's fucking dead, dude. For a hundred years, Rick and Morty. Morty. <clears throat> Morty. We need to get Carl Rogan back to his cell. Yeah. What? Joe Rogan and <laughs> Elon oh. Musk. Oh, oh my god. Morty, get the fuck out of here, Morty. Who's Carl? I don't know. I meant to say Joe Rogan. <laughs> Have you not seen the fucking... Um... No. Flash gets... Uh, uh, Elon and Rogan... Skits. Didn't think so. Once, okay. hang on. Once you have three release, you can sell a discography bungle. So I sell everything at a 10% discount. Sometimes when I get attention for a new release, I get a couple of discography sales on top of the selling the latest EP. Dude, that's fucking dope, man. Like, how, like it's fucking dope that you have gone from selling music... To selling music. To selling... A, <laughs> D&D board game. Expansion. Oh, tabletop. You know what you need to do? You need to complete the trifecta. You need to make a video game. Sell that. Don't start hookshot. God. That man tells me to st make a game one more time. <laughs> you know he's doing it to piss you off, right? I know. <laughs> Blah. Blah, 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 blah. Mm -mm. I like how you don't even realize that you're absorbing the music and then you can sing it perfectly. That's right, you gotta like jump off and like cut his rope. Okay. I'm pretty sure you just. One of these buttons. God, that was scary. Looking at his face like right up close. Fuck off! Let me get up there and get banana bread. Instrument. Okay, so apparently cutting the fucking thing doesn't do shit, but playing a musical instrument. Torture them. <laughs> they will appreciate. Deku pipes. 
By the way, who are you? Ooh. Fuck. Just like the princess. Sonata of Awakening. Okay. Sunlight. Like, we need to keep this quiet from the rest of them, but they're all fucking staring at us anyway. No, don't listen. <laughs> oh. You learn the Sonata of Awakening. This melody awakens those who have fallen into a deep sleep, which I'm about to go to. Everyone, did you hear that? This melody is only the Jack of Royal Family knows. It proves the foolish monkey deceived the princess so he could enter the temple. God, I sound like grade A under A. Fuck off. <laughs> Everyone, let the monkey's punishment commence. Can he get cancelled? Nah, he's still around. Oh. Uh. You better take the shortcut the Deku people use to get to the Woodfall Temple. But you must hurry. If you don't, I will be punished by the Deku King. It's going to stick a pineapple up your ass pretty soon. <laughs> going back to my convo before, everyone should basically go but here and buy my shit. <sighs> uh, fuck. I gotta get back this way. Well... Probably do chat. Cause I'm gonna, I'm gonna do a cheeky. I am feeling cut right now. Not even half cut? Ah, uh, pretty cut. Which cut? Somebody subs to my profile. I'll take a swig from the bottle. Hmm. <laughs> Not taking you home. You've been more cut. Back off, cunt. Trying to do walk bog carry. <laughs> oh yeah, that that was that was interesting. I don't know how fucking full the fucking um boss was of alcohol then. Yeah, suck it, dickhead. Thank you. Quack already did. What? Did it not come up on screen? Uh. Apparently, Quack did the thing on the co fires. What? Hear the brr? No, I didn't hear the blub blub thing. That's what I'm saying, that we didn't. Oh, okay, right. I was like, what? I didn't see nothing. I didn't see nothing come up. Because the, the little thing here, it um doesn't blips. alert when people do. It blips. It, it blip blips. I was like, I didn't fucking hear anything. What do you mean? You already took a swig from the bottle. If so, you alcoholic. Oh, 
Oh, you... I thought you meant YouTube sub. Oh, no. No, no, no. No, that did not come up because I think you've got your YouTube subscriptions set to private. Doesn't well, come up on... Always. Doesn't come up on stream unless uh, you've got your YouTube sub thingy set to public. I mean, they're probably already subbed. Yeah, you're probably already subbed too. That's what he said. No. I have to walk you two rooms away to get to bed. No, I can walk there myself, thank you. I'm in a dish. <sighs> Dude, shut up. Kapora Gabora, fuck off. Now, what's this? Oh, it's carved in the stone. I'm gonna go change my oh pillows over fall asleep. Get really angry. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna go get dig up bed anyway. Song of soaring, what does that do? Soars. Gives you sword. It gives you wings. You get to drink some water before. Oh, yeah. Old now. Alright. I'll turn your mic off. She says no night, folks. The stone bird statue in an instant. Ah. <laughs> Fuck was that? Okay. And we made it to the temple! Yay! Oh, fuck off. This bullshit. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna we're gonna do a do a cheat. We're gonna use a save suspension thingy. Oh. <coughs> okay. <coughs> oh fuck. <laughs> I am gonna go to bed. <laughs> but I'm sure I'll remember this tomorrow. Huh? Yeah, I got it on camera. I got it on on a VOD. I don't think YouTube has any rules against drinking on stream. I don't know. If they do, I'm fucked. But anyway. Um. Ladies and gentlemen. I hope you had fun. I hope you had fun watching us play Legend of Zelda. Um, but yeah, I'm cut. So I'm gonna go to bed. Uh, before I say something that'll get me taken off. Close that. I'm pretty sure I saved that. If not, fuck you. But anyway. You behaved yourself? Should be no problem. Yeah, I behaved myself. Woohoo. But anyway, love your faces, everybody. Uh, probably no stream over the weekend. Because I haven't quite gotten used to getting back to a full scheduled stream yet. So. Full stream schedule yeah um oh there we go quack just subscribe to the channel thank you very much quack over here there youtube is a bit weird it um likes to delay shit um, because their API is weird. They delay things anywhere up to four hours, but I'm glad that it came through within like minutes. Anyway, um, where is my fucking mouse cursor? Oh God, mate, where's my fucking mouse cursor? There it is. All right. 
love your faces everybody thank you very much for hanging out i do hope you had fun and you probably won't let me live it down tomorrow maybe i don't know but um we'll see you around um check out the ko-fi over here this is where i post all my stream updates now ish i do kind of post them on twitter but i try to keep them off twitter now that i've like deleted like 70k worth of tweets I can walk there myself. <laughs> now you're asking for it. <laughs> it's like, oh, I'm going to chaperone you to bed. No, I can get there myself. Thank you. We'll bring the fan. Now you're fucking asking for it. Um. <laughs> uh, what was I saying? Imagine having ADHD and being drunk and being like double can't fucking remember. Um, yeah, check out the Ko-Fi, that the thing down here, because uh, that's where I do some of the stream updates and I post a bunch of other shit too. Um. Subscribe to the channel if you're lurking around and you had fun and you want to see my lovely face again. I say lovely as an adjective, but it's not really an appropriate adjective. But hey, can't take it back. Um, yeah. I will see you guys when I see you. Uh, I don't have any music. Why do I not have any music? Because I didn't put the fucking thing on. What is it? Foobar. Blah, blah, blah. There we go. All right. Love you, faces. See you guys around. Bye.